Hi, I'm Cindy. Uh, I'm a fourth year resident uh, here and I am going into GI pathology. I am going to do a quick snippet showing you the average day in the life of a SurgePath resident. So for SurgePath in the mornings, we always come to the mailbox room to check for our cases for the day. Show you the mailbox room. All right, so here we have uh, the mailboxes for all of the, usually the attendings are over here, our fellows and our cases are over here, and this wall here is for our residents. And in this mail room, we also have a multi-headed scope, which uh, we could sign out with attendings at, and a tray return shelf. All right. So, I am on bone and soft tissue, head and neck this week. As you can see here, we have GI, GU, bone soft tissue, head and neck, gyne, breast, and thoracic. So since I am in charge of both ENT and bone soft tissue, I'll be grabbing these trays and taking it back to my desk for previewing. All right, so here we have our resident room. Um, here is a common space where we have a nice couch relax on, multi-headed scope where we sign out with attendings. We also have uh, bookshelves that is our mini resident libraries. So our resident is split in two half. That's half where half the residents and the fellows sit in that half. And then this half is where more residents sit at. Um, my desk is back here in the corner right next to a nice lovely window. And uh, here is my desk, cases, cases, more cases, um, where we have is this microscope here. This will be given to everyone. Everyone has the same scope. It's a very nice scope with the objectives going from 2x all the way to 40x. 2x is my favorite. And then here is the Dell laptop that everyone will be getting. Um, and then, whoops. And in addition to the laptop, uh, we everyone gets a uh, prescription to expert path and it's great because it's like up-to-date but for pathology and here we have a chocolate mousse cake that one of our residents brought in to share with everyone and this happens actually quite frequently okay now that I'm now sitting here at my desk here are the cases for today I will be previewing them myself before taking it to the attending and then we will usually sign out in the late morning. Um, I will always either text my attending or email them or call them and just set up a time for sign out based on how many cases I have. If I don't have that many, we'll try sign out earlier in the morning. If I have a lot, I'll talk to them and be like, hey, I have a lot of slides. Can we sign out a little later in the morning? And they're generally very, very flexible. So. Uh, I'll see you guys again when I am signing out. So we are now doing our first round of morning sign out here. Here's Dr. Ciprani, and we're gonna start with this first case, which is this tiny little oral biopsy of a vocal cord lesion. And um, basically, I have my diagnosis. I'm gonna let her know what I think. Then she can tell me, yes, I'm wrong or right. <laughs> and then I will type it into the computer and we'll do that for all the cases we have today. And that's about it, okay. Okay, so uh, just finished sign out for the morning and I am about to go to the girls room to gross. Oh, and as you can see behind me is the pet wall the department. We have lots of pets. Um, mine is up there too. Uh, I have a dog. So now I'm gonna go gross. Um, per my, it's my personal preference to gross during the daytime. Uh, there's residents who prefer grossing in first thing in the morning before they preview so they'll come a little earlier um, to before lecture to gross some of their bigs or all of their bigs and then start their day and finish as needed during the day or there are some residents like me who prefer grossing during the day when they find free time and uh, in the end goal is we want to make sure that all of our bigs are grossed and done ideally by 4 p.m. no later than 7 p.m. Um, that way we don't delay any cases from coming out and slowing down patient care. 
So, so I have made the trek from the resident room in old hospital buildings to the new CCD here. Um, and I am now outside the girls' room ready to do my grocery. So a quick here, this is our girls' room in the new hospital. And we have to swipe ourselves in. Uh, you probably will get a more in-depth tour by Tim in the grocery room. Here we have Heather, our triage resident. So when I come into the grocery room, I will check for my bigs, which are pre-assigned the night before and has labels. So here's mine and here's also mine. Um, even though I am on bone soft tissue head and neck right now, I will be going on to GI next week. And since today is Thursday, I'm actually grossing two colon cancers. Um, and that way, come Monday, first thing in the morning, I'll have these cases out and ready for me to preview. All right, I'm gonna. All right, so I'm now done grossing and I have come back to the other side and checking my mailbox again for things to pick up and preview and sign out for the afternoon. So. In my ENT box, there is two cases. Um, and that's really about it. Um, our day is basically... Um... All right, so that's really about it. Um, in summary of what my day looks like is I personally pr come in in the morning, I'll preview my cases, sign out with my attendings in the morning, and around the noon time, hour to three hours i'll go over to a grocery room and gross my bigs and i will then come back in the early afternoon preview whatever cases i get and then sign out again with the, the intending for sign out round two uh today has been surprisingly light so there hasn't been that many cases and i got a lot of things done and that leaves me with time to do things like work on my research projects doing my qa project um yeah, or just simply sitting here studying, reading a book, looking over through Expert Path. So that's it. Um, I have to warn you guys that this is extraordinarily like light, but it could get so heavy where it's just constantly nonstop working. So you'll see when you come. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.